Hey guys, it's been a rough couple days. Um, had all those other things we were talking about. There was the issues with the water, uh, the standing water in our crawl space. And a lot of you, like honestly, I hadn't even considered homeowner's insurance. I don't know why I hadn't, but thank you for that uh, recommendation. We'll definitely give them a call. We looked at our policy and stuff, and as long as it's covered, um, it should, it would hopefully be all worked out with that. But um, as also a number of you suggested, we're gonna just take a little bit of time, get through what we need to get through with NIH and all of that kind of stuff. Um, we're going into summer, there's not like a whole lot of water or rain or anything. They're not even sure exactly where the water was coming from anyway, so we should hopefully have some time. But that same night, um, for the first time in probably a year, uh, I started to get a migraine. And I say started because um, I used to have migraines a lot uh, when I was younger, especially as a teenager, and then it, it ebbed for you know quite a while. But every time I've ever had a migraine is I get an aura, and uh, basically it starts as like a pinprick, like I've looked at a bright light source or something, and then that just grows and grows and grows and takes over about half of my vision. So I started to get an aura, took some, um, some ibuprofen right away. Sometimes if I catch it really early, uh, it, I won't has, have as many issues if I can like lay down with an ice pack. It usually does pretty good. But of course, because it has been so long since I've had frequent migraines, I don't have any migraine medication, nothing like that. Well, laid down everything. I never even really, usually the aura goes away as soon as pain hits but I never really had a whole lot of pain. Um, and I went to bed early and I was like, okay, I, I think I'll be okay. Woke up the next morning. So I woke up yesterday morning and started walking around. And within five minutes, the aura had started it again. And I was like, what is going on? Um, so was trying to figure that out, took some uh, medicine again, but it didn't seem to do a whole lot again. This time though, I did get pain but the aura lasted a good chunk of the day and I just felt gross. Um, Josh was out and about for a while, so it was me and Rayla um, hanging out, just trying to take it as easy as possible. While at this point now I am hurting and um, can't see through half of my vision. Um, and um, asked Josh sometimes, and what's actually in a lot of migraine medication is caffeine. So I asked if he would pick me up some, um, something with caffeine in it. And that seemed to help a bit. Um, and I talked to palliative care and asked them about, about stuff as well, but I was also scheduled to talk with them as well about all of the pain meds and, um, getting everything figured out there. They upped my fentanyl patches. Uh, I was at a hundred micrograms and they decided to up me to 150 micrograms. And I asked whether they thought maybe the Dilaudid could be the cause of the migraines. And they're like, well, it's, it, it's the same opioids that you've already been on. Nothing really has changed that much except the amount increase that you've had. So we can't really say it is or it isn't the cause. Um, it's not necessarily a common side effect, but it could be, but it could also just be with all of the stress and everything that might be the reason. And I'm like, eh, that's true. Could be. Um, so they did that and then they, um, officially kind of upped the amount of the Dilaudid that I could take as well, which is where they'd already kind of increased it to. Um, but made sure to, uh, do my refill with enough to make sure that I could make it through my trip to Maryland and all of that. So that being said, I was feeling all good there. And then I tried to get the refill and, uh, that was the next challenge, which was because the last time they upped me, um, I was on 75 micrograms for the uh, the fentanyl patch and they'd already upped me to 100 without any refills and they're just like, oh, just increase the patch that you're using. Well, that means in the system, it shows that I should not be ready for a refill of the 50 micrograms because that's, the system doesn't show that they increased 
um, how much I was taking in between. So I was being told, sorry, we can't refill your 50 until after the second. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be here and I'm gonna be out as of today because they had already increased and I had to explain the whole thing like two or three times. Uh, they had to call palliative care back and get doctor approval. I'm like them putting in the refill, that's not doctor approval enough. Apparently it's not. Um, and they also at the pharmacy that I was gonna go to, they also didn't have the 100 micrograms. So long story short, they got the approval, thank goodness, but then they had to do both of the patches of um, the 50 and the 100 micrograms. It's, oh, because they had increased it from 100 micrograms to 150 micrograms. They had to send both of those to a completely different pharmacy to fill it because the pharmacy I was gonna go to or anyone nearby didn't have it. So now I had to drive, I think it was about a 45 minute drive to go and pick up those patches and then go to a, the pharmacy I was normally gonna go to to get the Dilaudid refill. Uh, so that was an interesting afternoon, all while I have a migraine. Um, so that, yeah, definitely not so much fun uh, at all. And, um, and then I, at the same time, I'm also now calling my oncologist just to Josh is like, should we be worried about you all of a sudden having migraines? Possibly. I mean, what if something started growing up in my brain or is something pushing on something? I don't know. Called and talked to the, um, the, what am I thinking? I always have a hard time thinking of this person's uh, title. The, basically like the nurse, the, the chart, not the charge nurse, but the nurse who is um, kind of in charge of all of the patients for my particular oncologist. Um, they called back and said, well, we're gonna make sure Dr. Mashru sees this, but he might already be gone for the day. It's a long weekend. Um, I don't think there's any immediate you know, concern. Um, but if during the weekend you have any additional pain or if the uh, migraines don't really go away, you know, give, go to urgent care or something and they can at least help with the pain. Maybe able to get you um, more pain, some meds specifically for migraines. It's like, okay. So um, my plan was to wait until this morning if it kind of happened the same way where I woke up and then the aura came back. Um, I was going to either go into urgent care or um, you see what else I can do to see if someone could at least prescribe me more migraine medication. Well, sure enough, within five minutes of me waking this morning, Aura was back, um, took some ibuprofen, but decided to try something. Kaiser on their app has something that says get care now. And I just found out about this when I had the shingles and it's literally you kind of go in and you can set up either a phone or a video appointment. And I didn't know if it would work on the weekend but it does. And so uh, just before nine o'clock, uh, it was about maybe 8.45, I signed up for a phone visit that was within about 30 to 45 minutes away that was not urgent care. So I didn't have to go in and wait four hours for urgent care. And I just had a doctor call me and kind of told him what was going on. And he put in a, um, a prescription for me for migraine meds. And I was able to go and pick that up at my preferred pharmacy, which is actually the only one that was open today, um, so that I could make sure that I had it, one, to hopefully fight what was going on today. And it definitely helped a lot. Um, and so I have it when we go to Maryland, just in case more, come, more pop up. Um, and that way I can get through all of that and hopefully not have to worry any more about that until I come back from the trip. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's been my couple of days. Wow, I just realized how long I've been talking at you. Um, so yeah, migraines are back. Um, we leave in, what is t today is Saturday. Oh my gosh, so another like what, two and a half days and we leave for Maryland. We're trying to get that all figured out. We think we're good. We went shopping today at trying to get last minute things like, you know, going to the travel section and getting, you know, small shampoos and conditioners and all of those so that we can, because we're not planning to like, checkity bags so we need to make sure we have the small enough size and all of that that we could put in our carry-on so um okay yeah 
I, I'm sure there is, there was like, I was like, man, I need to make a list of things I was going to talk to you guys about. So I'm sure I've forgotten something, but overall, I think that's it. But whatever I forgot, like I said, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I will try to make note of it and share that with you tomorrow. Um, thanks again for all of your support and, and everything that has gone along this last week and how spastic my schedule for videos has been. Um, but other than that and my immense thank yous, um, be kind, make good choices as always, and I will see you guys tomorrow.